everyone thank you so much for clicking on this video now it is Arlo's first birthday tomorrow and I'm about to make his birthday cake I'm gonna be making him like a healthy cake smash cake and I found a really good recipe online so I thought I would film it for you guys as a little how to do um, and I'll also leave the recipe in my description box if anyone wanted to make it themselves so this is the cake that I'm going to be making. I think it's going to make a really, really good cake smash cake. And what I absolutely love about it is that it's all like healthy, natural ingredients. So it hasn't got too much sugar in. Um, so obviously, as you can see, these are all the ingredients here. I've literally got all of these now. So I'm going to get baking. Um, but yeah, I just knew as soon as I saw this recipe, this was the cake I had to choose. So I think it's going to be really fun for him to do in the morning. Also, this is complete trial and error for me, so you're gonna be learning as I am. I've also got my cake tins, so these are the round ones that I'm gonna be using. Um, they're just a really good shape. Obviously, you can probably do any shape that you want, but I'm gonna be going with circle. Okay, before we get started and I've shown you the like main um, recipe I'm following, I thought I'd quickly run through all the ingredients I've got. As you can see, um, all quite healthy bits. I've got some dates at the back, some coconut flour, whole chia seeds, uh, some cinnamon and vanilla for the flavouring. And the fruit I'm going to be using is banana and raspberries. And then I've also got some coconut oil, some eggs and the coconut milk. Now, this is mainly for like the whipping, like icing um, around the outside. So this is the bit that will make it really, really messy for your cake smash video or photos. It's also worth noting that you do need a food processor for this. I didn't have one before. Um, I did go out and buy one for this recipe. I also needed one for um, some other little like cooking bits that I like doing as well. So... I got picked up this one. So you'll also need a whisk, your um, two cake tins. Actually, I think you may only need one actually, but um, I'll read in the recipe later. And then I've also got some mixing bowls up here. I'm not sure again how many I need. I think just one for the cake and then maybe one for the um, like icing around the outside. So I have already preheated my oven to 170. I am now going to quickly grease my tins and you do that with your coconut oil. And then the next step is food blitzing your dates in the processor. Okay, so that is my cake tins um, greased with the coconut oil. Now I'm gonna grab my dates to put in the food processor. Right, next up I've got to add the bananas. So I've just got three bananas. I'm not quite sure if they're gonna fit. I've got a really tiny little food processor, but I might just have to blitz one at a time and see, because I think once they're blitzed, they'll obviously go a tiny bit smaller. So it now says that you want to add the date and banana mixture into the food bowl, which I'm going to do now. Here we are. So I also want to add, oh no, <laughs> I also want to add the coconut oil. I need to check my recipe to see how much and I need to add the eggs as well now. So you've got to use three eggs. I've just cracked them in here so that I can add them to my bowl and it needs to be 60 millilitres of this coconut oil melted. So I'm probably gonna melt it in the microwave and then, um, yeah, pour it in. Also, this is funny because this is reminding me of when I was younger. Now, my mum would literally make everything homemade. And when I was younger, I used to absolutely hate it. She used to make her own homemade bread, which was really, really healthy. And we used to just hate it. We used to go to school with her, um, her 
sandwiches made with homemade bread and we just we just used to wish that well me and my sister i'm saying we i think we both did i certainly did but we just used to wish that we could have normal like shop bought bread for our sandwiches at school and then she'd also make us our own pizzas as well and we again just wanted like shop bought pizzas but this is what happens when you get older one you just learn to I don't know be appreciative of the things that your mum did and two i am just turning into her because i'm making everything from scratch or trying to as much as i can and yeah just making everything really healthy which as a child obviously you don't appreciate but as a mum you just want to do those things for your children so that they have healthy nice stuff so yeah i'm literally turning into my mum this is what happens but anyway let's get pouring wow we i could make a little um is it asmr this gonna mix that together I should probably use my whisk 60 ml of coconut oil really isn't a lot I'm just gonna pull that in and give it a nice stir so in a separate bowl I've got to mix together the coconut flour the baking powder and the cinnamon so for this bit you're obviously gonna need a scales a, um, a sieve for the flour and then this is my baking powder as well which I had in the cupboard earlier so I just want to measure out 45 grams. Right, this is my half a teaspoon, uh, yeah, teaspoon of cinnamon. And then one and a half of baking powder. Now this should make it, I say should, because it doesn't always work for me. I don't know what I do to some of my cakes, but they don't rise. So this should make it rise. <laughs> So now it says to add the flour mixture to my wet mixture and I've got to leave it in there, I've got to stir it and then leave it in there for um, 10 minutes so that the coconut flour can expand. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. So this is what my mixture is looking like at the moment, like I said I've got to leave it for 10 minutes so I'm going to have a look at the recipe and see if there's anything that I need to be doing while I wait those 10 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. Now when I was in Sainsbury's getting all of the ingredients, I read that I needed 650 grams of raspberries. So that's why I bought two of these giant punnets. I've just read the recipe now and I only need 65 grams. So you definitely don't need these two large punnets of raspberries, but I'm gonna use a couple anyway to like put on the top of the cake and stuff. So, and we go through fruit like no tomorrow anyway. So they shall not be wasted. <laughs> Right, I hope I've not missed anything. In fact, I know I haven't, so I've been following the recipe, but I can't believe how little um, mixture there actually is in my tins. Like I said, I just hope they rise a lot. So I'm gonna put them in the oven now. I forgot to say at the beginning that I also got these frozen raspberries. This is for the jam that I'm gonna make. Um, I just need to put that, the chia seeds, and the warm water into the blender again. So I'm gonna quickly do that now, and then I can leave it in the fridge whilst the um, cake still bakes. I think I've got around half an hour left for that. And just like that, a disaster has occurred. I don't know if you can see. I've just dropped this and it's smashed. I'm hoping it will still work, so I need to use it to make my raspberry jam, but that is brand new as well. How frustrating. Right, hello everyone. It is now the next day. This is what my cake is looking like. It's very, very flat. It looks like it's burnt around the edges on camera, but it's it's not actually that dark. But yeah, it's a, it's a lot flatter than what I would have liked. And I was very tempted to 
um, bake some more to make it bigger but I thought it's only going to be Arlo that's going to be having it and he's not exactly going to eat it all anyway so I'm going to make the jam and the um, icing now and I'm hoping I can just like thicken it up and make it a bit bigger with the icing so I'm going to get on and do that now quickly so this is the jam I've just made it is literally just um, defrosted um, raspberries, chia seeds and warm water so that's all blitzed in the food presser and I'm gonna leave that for about an hour and I'm just gonna make this as well which is the like whipped um, cream so this is just the two cans and also some vanilla extract as well. Now I've only got a hand whisk so I hope I can whip it up enough to make it perfect for the icing. So let's see, I will resume once hopefully it's more whipped. Do you know what? I'm actually really, really pleased with how this has turned out. Because yesterday I was having a bit of a freak out thinking, oh my god it is so small. But I actually think it's probably the perfect size. And it does look a lot more similar now to um, how it did on the recipe online. So I've got him a little number one candle which we're going to use. And then I've also got a sparkler which we might like. Um, we'll see. So yeah, I'm excited for him to blow out the candles and do his cake smash. Ready? <gasps> Beautiful. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. That, that, that. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Arlo. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. Woo! Good boy. Blow it. 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 Blow it.